our youth is the hope of our future. And that takes us to our program, Your Image, the public relations flagship program on TV. Uh, today, we are focusing on the youth, youth entrepreneurship, and being as a future leader. Uh, I have the youth who have already assembled here to look at uh, the topic, youth as an entrepreneur and future leader. So I have with me Glory, E. Glory Oludare, is the founder of Tro Consult. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. It's my pleasure. And uh, on my immediate right, too, I have uh, Adebayo Adebori, who also is the founder of Edwin, Education Wings. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. And uh, on my immediate left, I have uh, to this step. Desalu Ayodele. Desalu Ayodele, who is a medical, I mean, is a media strategist. Yeah. I yes, think that's it? Social, yes, sir. Social media strategist. strategist yeah. uh, today, We'll be looking at the opportunities that are available for the youth. We'll be looking at how youth have been developing themselves. We'll look at the assets that they have, and then we'll look at how they've been mentored. And then we're also looking at how have they been able to expose themselves to skill training and some other issues. Uh, it's nice having you, gentlemen. Thank you very Thanks much, sir. Again, sir. I'd like to say, I'm glad to connect with you. You know I'm a youth. Yes, you are. <laughs> of course. Okay, okay. Uh, so, um, when we are talking about youth as an entrepreneur and as a future leader, uh, is the environment conducive for that vision? Thank you, sir, once again. Um, as far as the Nigerian structure is concerned, uh, historically speaking, we are still growing, and at the moment, the atmosphere condition and the, uh, the condition of Nigerian system and structure uh, is still growing, and uh, as far as the youth are, are concerned, our youth are there are daily working on stretching out themselves outside the condition of the struct and the structure of Nigerian system. And I must tell you, sir, that the Nigerian youth of today are striving daily, striving out of all the, uh, the issues that are occurring here and there, especially the, in the issue of the security, the terrorism, the economic factor, which is one of the most important factors when it comes to entrepreneurship and I can say that now that as far as the Nigerian system of system of entrepreneurship is concerned the youth are thriving and we are growing daily day by day on that and I believe that in the course of uh, on, of our growth and in the course of our navigation towards becoming better day by day the youth can make it and they can do better well, uh, Adebori, I, I looked at your area of focus, which is uh, giving education to the youth, to give them a platform to try in the society. How has the focus, how has it helped the youth generally? So generally, um, we have been working on our vision, which is to ensure that we develop the Nigeria of our dreams, and by extension, the Africa of our dreams, uh, a continent whereby we don't have to de depend on foreign aid yeah. and people from everywhere to come and support us. Yesterday, I was going through the news around, we still depending on Ukraine that is faced with the current war for wheat when we have vast land here in the continent, on the continent. So we are trying to create a platform whereby youth will be able to see the uh, many things, the many potentials that they have. Of recent, we heard about um, UK giving uh, doctors about 228, giving them uh, licenses to be operating in their country. That's to tell you how much they value what we have in this country. So we have, there is 
even uh, a need for a mind shift as regards what entrepreneurship is around youth entrepreneurship. Before for you to be an entrepreneur, you know, in fact, when some people are building up our entrepreneurship training, all they will do is hairdressing, fashion design, and all that. But it has gone beyond that. What we have now is more of tech. So we have gotten to an, uh, to an uh, we have gotten to a point whereby we need to think beyond. Okay, it has to be what they can, people can see. People are working on their system and they are thriving. Another issue that we are having, which we are seeing, we are trying to see if government and other uh, law enforcement agencies can also see is the many potentials that we have online. Not when you see a youth with a laptop and you think that all the person is doing online is Yahoo. Many people are making money online. And they are not doing things that are illegitimate. So we are trying to ensure that our youths are seeing the potentials they have and the fact that they are also safe in their country. Because they know that if they get out of this country, all these things that they are doing, they will be appreciated. But here in this country, if you are, even if you try to do some things that are, okay, you are working online, they'll be like, okay, what are you doing? Why are you with your phones at all times? So they begin to question things around that. So that's one of the things that we are doing to ensure that our youth see that they are needed in this country, and also that this country, they can actually thrive and become better. Uh, Abel Ashode. Um, this he, this, uh, sorry, this yes, uh, He just went into your area, which has to do with the social media uh, strategy. And uh, I looked at the opportunities that are bound for youth, for businesses, for communities, even for the nation at large. Uh, with this new trend of uh, innovative uh, tendencies, creativity, technology, availability, and resourcefulness, uh, how are the youth key into embracing technology and enhancing themselves, positioning themselves in the society? Okay, um, well, basically, the youth are actually embracing this technology and in terms of the fact that they are using their, you know, many, many persons nowadays are on Facebook, they are on Instagram, they are on TikTok, they are on all of these different social media channels. And many times when they go on these different social media channels, they actually go there as a form of religion. Many don't actually use it as a viable instrument or a viable tool that can actually enhance their product productivity as a means of projecting what they can offer to the world. Because what you must understand is that what social media has brought to us is that you can actually be sitting in the corner of your room or just in the corner of a particular place in, in, in the world and the whole world will be looking at you. And that goes on to say that if you have that particular skill set, that particular thing that you know will be of value to people in the marketplace, you can actually right there from your room projecting it through the social media channel like Facebook. Instead of going on Facebook and you know watching all of the different things just to keep leisure, you can also use it as a way of projecting what you can offer to the whole world. Uh, there was some time ago, I think some months, some months back, that was in April, I actually saw a particular um, tweet on Twitter that a particular guy, I've forgotten um, the university graduated from, and he posted his result online. And um, the result whereby he actually had, you know, he breached through, I think it was an engineering department, and he breached through in everything that he actually did, and he came out with, I think, about 4.9 something GP like that. And the same guy was also alluded to the fact that he posted his result to uh, then when he did his work and he breached through in A's and everything. So he just posted the two together, and because of that, some persons actually reached out to him, I mean, some foreign organizations actually reached out to him and asked that they will sponsor him and you know take him further to the next level. That is the opportunity that the social media has actually given to the youth. Even though the nation as we know it is not giving us that enabling environment, the internet is now a global village that gives anybody an enabling environment to project everything that they have to the whole world. Thank you very much. Uh, well, um, Ludari, you remember that uh, spaces are not enough. Competition are shutting the environment in a way that, except you have initiative, yes, except you are creative, except that you are serviced and are ready to be of service to people, uh, this place may not be there for you. How 
are you coping? I, I could see the challenges that uh, you people are facing. The startup, how does it? How has it been? Well, thank you once again, sir. Um, as the lead manager of Truck Consult, Truck Consult is an educational consulting firm that focuses on preferring education. The most schools that are facing in the country. As regards startups, sir, I must confess that you know, in the Nigeria economy, aside all of the things that we are we are working about, working out around, there are a lot of challenges, but I believe as far as entrepreneurship is concerned, entrepreneurship does not become productive if there is no problem around it to be solved. And one of the major key to bringing out productivity, creativity, and uh, uh, innovation in any society, in any economy, is by finding out a problem that fits in with your skill or with your uh, inherent gifting. And one of the things that we have always observed is that, as far as Nigeria is concerned, Nigeria has too many problems that entrepreneurs can give birth to. And I believe that, you know, that we have a lot of problems that digital tech has given us the platform to create solution around it. And in, as far as startup is concerned today, there are so many Nigerian youth that are thriving in the midst of all of those challenges. And those challenges are making them to become resilient. They are, make, they are making them to be consistent at what they are doing. Even though the space is not enough, the space that is not in, in the midst of the space that is not enough, you must, you must bear with me, sir, that now we have what we call remote work. The remote, you can be in, your, in the middle of your room, in the middle of anywhere in your room, and navigate to the world. You can be employed right in your room because today's world is now the world of remote workers who can use their laptop and also join a company and solve the problem where they are. And that is the reason, like my, one of my, our speaker here said the other time, he was talking about using the social media platform to solve the problem while in the midst of your, in your room. And that is one of the, that is the biggest space anybody can, you know, can utilize. There are so many problems in Nigeria, but if we are looking at the problem, is, I'm fine, I'm not looking at the solution, we may not be able to get it to where we are going, because in the midst of the problems are solutions. Before I round off, sir, I'll, let me give you a short story to back up what I'm trying to say. Some set of young boys, I mean young, uh, young guys from Bata several years ago, around 19, uh, 1949, according to uh, a book, you know, they, they were sent to Africa by Bata Company. You, you must remember Bata Company, sir. So they were sent to an African country, and the first country that they went to, they discovered that they were not wearing any shoe. Now, the first set of people that they sent there said, ah, we cannot go to that country. That, those countries, they are not wearing shoes. And so there well, is that's, no opportunity. Well, that's the land of opportunity. Yes, sir. So after a year, another set of individuals were sent to that country. And when they got to the country, they did their research. They made a lot of uh, record to back to their company. By the time the manager of the company at the moment saw what they wrote, he engaged them in some discussion. And it, they told him that that is where we can navigate. That is where we can launch our company to African countries and also our branches. Yeah, and that is how the space that the some people have said that there is no opportunity. There it, is no. It has to do with vision. Yes, sir. It has to and do that's what that is. That also goes back to what I was saying that in the midst of the problems, without no motivation, because the, what I'm saying is not about motivation. It is about what you see and how you see. So okay, uh, but beyond the issue of motivation, yes. I think let's come together and do a kind of search. I mean, mind searching. Okay. Um, Adeboli, you will know that 
Even when the platform is viral, is opening, uh, and uh, people are receptive, show some people to the youth, certain characters have been an impediment. What role or what traits do you think use of art nowadays should possess to engender them, to connect them to opportunities that are available in the society? Okay. The truth is, it is very easy to get, um, okay, probably we are talking about... Talking about qualities. Yes. Yeah. That yeah. you should possess yes. to endure them to various opportunities that are available. Yeah. I think one of it is the way they present themselves access to networking. Uh, yesterday I was discussing with some teachers, we had a training, and then one of the things that I would mention is around the emotional education. Okay. You know, there is a, it's important for us to know that we are all different. So and then it's important for us to note that we are relating with people, we'll also relate with them on that note. Some people have some weird um, belief around themselves that, okay, this is who I am, this is what I can do then, so if you are not going to align with what I am, then so that is all. And then we are getting to a point whereby some of our youths are seeing themselves as, okay, oh, things are changing, all these things that you used to do, morality, we are trying to push morality away. And the truth is, nobody will want to deal with someone that is not honest. So as Someone a, that does not have integrity. Exactly. Integrity. Someone that does not have the ability to provide service. Exactly. If you don't have confidence, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's something that uh, will be restricting you, limiting you yes. to areas of opportunities. Exactly. And we still have so many other areas. Yeah. So, the digital strategies. Okay, well, um, talking about the qualities that the yeah. of today should possess. Well, uh, basically, uh, he made a very important point about the fact that they have an emotional intelligence, emotional education, uh, which is actually a soft skill that is mostly acquired by many, many of organizations when working with them. And also another important thing, again, that I believe the youth should have is that apart from the fact that they should have an emotional intelligence, they should also be confident in expressing themselves, mm -hmm. as in expressing the fact that they, they, they can deliver. Like, just like one of us identified here that, okay, somebody came to a particular place and then saw an opportunity. I'm sure that when they saw the opportunity, they actually were confident enough in expressing the opportunity to those that are actually around them. They were confident enough in actually putting down, that putting down what they have seen as expressing it in terms of business plan and then communicating it effectively to people or organizations that they feel would actually you know, support them and help them go forward. So that's one thing I feel uh, the youth of today should actually have. Entrepreneurship is important, but much more important than that, you have to be, believe in yourself. You have to be confident that yes, this particular opportunity that you have seen is viable and it's something that if I pursue it, it would help solve a particular problem that would be eventually be advantageous to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much. Um, Olivari, when you look at area of skill training, what opportunities, how much of a support have you got? Uh, thank you very much, sir. Uh, our support has always been a personal. It has always been from what we have. It has always been personal. It has not been from anybody. It, and, I, and that has always been by, by providence, divine providence. Let me use the word. And uh, the, the skill training, uh, because of the level of the potentials that we have at truck consult, and uh, the individuals in at control consult, we were able to see what we have and what we can give to the society. And that's one of the reasons why we have created a platform, especially in the area of digital, uh, digit, digital technology. We have created a school called Troll Leadership and Entrepreneurship Academy. It's a school, purely a school of entrepreneurship and school of leadership that 
It is one thing for you to be an entrepreneur. It is yet another thing for you to be to discover the leadership in you. Because discovering your leadership gifting is the first before your entrepreneurship. Because how are you going to be an entre a successful entrepreneur if you have not been able to lead yourself? And in line with the question, sir, you must, we must also look at the foundation of skill training in Nigeria. There are, of course, there are a lot of skill uh, companies, institutions that are doing training today. And one of the things that we have found out as, as, a, as a consulting firm is that we discover that uh, leadership, our leadership concept is missing. And it is as a result of the historical miseducation that so we what have. Do you, what do you mean by that? Now, thank you so much. Let me give you an history. If you look at Nigeria, for instance, Nigeria was under the colon, uh, was we were colonized for 100 years under the British uh, masters. And during this period, you must, uh, we must understand the fact that for a set of people who have been colonized for 100 years, so many things will be at loss. Number one is the identity, identity uh, blueprint. We lost our identity. We do not know what we, who we are as a Nigerian country. You must, let me give you an, uh, a, a little information. Nigerian people, not even youth now, Nigerian people are the most blessed people. Mm -hmm. We are so gifted. We have ing the ingenuity, we have the skills. Why are we having our people outside the country? Why are we having them running back to, or running to other foreign countries? If not because we have failed in identifying who we are, what we have, and what we can do to solve the problems, to solving the problems, to solving the problems around us. And another thing is that we have a, we lost a mindset that is not after our identity. So it's giving us a problem. That is the reason why our country today is facing a lot of challenges. And of course, we know that there have been a lot of governments. Governments, are, they are trying in their way anyway. But then, we are not focusing on where we are supposed to focus on. And that's why, you know, if you listen to the news more often, you will hear people say, we need to restructure. We need mind restructure. But we cannot, we, we cannot have a restructure in this country if we do not identify who we are. It's talking, I'm talking about mental, uh, mental so, faculty and identity. So, briefly, you are providing an opportunity to further develop the youth. Yes. So, what do you say about this uh, training that is coming up? Yeah, thank you, sir. The program that is coming, uh, it's, we call it of the Youth Leadership Summit. Uh, there are three things that we are going to be focusing on. Number one is we are focusing on bringing back the mind of our youth back to who they are. We are bringing their mind back to what they have that some of them don't even know that they have. And we, are also, we also want to empower them to focus on what they have instead of going on Jaffa, like. Like most of us are. Well, maybe we'll have to explain that uh, when next. Uh, okay, <laughs> yes, <laughs> next week. Yes. Uh, just uh, mm -hmm. a short one from you. My one. I mean, uh, Adebayo. Adebori. So, we, we are sure that. Just a word of encouragement. Encouragement. For youth. Yes. The youth in Nigeria, we are the best in the whole world. Yes. We are highly sorted. We are highly sorted after all over the world. So let us just have this mind of we can do it. We should always have a positive mindset around ourselves. And we should always note that whatever we put our minds to, we can definitely achieve it. As a social media strategist, the enabling environment that you're actually looking for is that phone in your hand. Mm -hmm. And with that phone in your hand, all you just have to do is put on your camera, go on live, share what you have, share that particular information that you know we bring that solution credible. that is credible yeah. that we add value that we had value to the people that we indeed solve the imminent problems that people are facing and then you win well if we are to share any information ensure that it is factual understand the source that is coming from mm -hmm. and do not create fear panic in the society 
it is on this note that uh, we are going to end this chat with our youth. Uh, these are promising people, and uh, these are hope of the future. Um, viewers, until next week, join us to continue this discussion, and let us create a very a very table tool and atmosphere for you to try. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you. Thank you for So to next week. I bid you bye. Join us for your development. Thank you so much. <laughs>